I'll let you guys fire away. Um, <clears throat> I was complaining during the game because uh, Fletcher made a few defense. Somebody did made a few defensive moves, but he got a double double. He, you don't even see what he. I mean, you have to look at the stat sheet sometimes to see what how well he does. Yeah, you're right. That's mm -hmm. the, that's what the staff keeps reminding me because he just absolutely went brain dead there in the last <laughs> two and a half minutes. And uh, but uh, you're right, and I've got to do a better job. That's one of my weaknesses as a head coach. I've got to do a better job when got. But at the same time, in the last two and a half minutes, you have to be able to finish plays. And there was no excuse for uh, having guys open that as, as open as what they were. But uh, with that being said, um, I really, I really thought uh, our all of our guys at one point or time or another all made a huge play at whatever time it was. They all made a big play, and uh, I don't have to tell you guys how big this was. I don't have to tell you. This was huge. This was huge. We needed a win. Uh, in all honesty, if there's any type of win you could draw up, this is probably the best one. Uh, something that we had to come back, earn, something that put us in a deficit where you had to come back and make big plays, confident plays. I don't think there could have been a, any, any better order type of game in order for us to win. <clears throat> you talk about surviving that first half. I mean, they sh they shot lights out, and you're, I mean your offensive numbers were pretty good, but you're down 12. As we had, I was really upset. At, I was really upset at halftime, and uh, my staff probably did the best job they've done in a long time with me. We had no energy. We had no juice. Uh, and my staff convinced me that it was because, not because we weren't trying, is because we had no confidence. When you've had the last, well, I guess it's, when you've had the last 13 days prior to this that this basketball team's had, that's enough, that's a plate for, for anybody. And uh, my staff convinced me uh, to not go in and just go nuts. I listened to 50% of that, but uh, I did tell the guys at halftime, and I, and I told them I would tell you guys this. I told them, I didn't know what to tell them. I told them, I said, you have to figure it out on your own. You, you guys are the ones that have to figure out what we're going to do in the second half as far as our energy and our attitude and our effort. You have to do it because you're not listening to me right now. And they did. We came out, I don't know, it was a 7-8 or 8-0 run to start the half. And uh, once we got rolling, got, got a little, but I thought the big thing was when we took the lead, uh, we only relinquished it one other time, is that right? We took the lead and then we relinquished it one more time, went down one, but we answered it with a three, didn't we? Yeah, so I just really proud.